μεγάλωσε στο φυσικό Καρτ Σάγκερ με τη σειρά Κόσμο, μα ταξιδεύει μέσα από 13 επεισόδια σε όλο τον κόσμο που παρατηρούμε γύρω μα. Από τα πιο μικρά μέχρι τα πιο μεγάλα. Ήταν από του πρώτου μέγιστοιμου επιστήμονε που ξεκίνησαν να απλοποιούν. When Einstein put forward his theory of general relativity, it was a seminal moment in the history of science. If Einstein made a mistake, every subsequent theory that was rationalized to the core theory has the potential of being off. Dark matter has fascinated physicists since they first realized that there was more stuff in the universe than they could explain with their current theories. The search for dark matter has always been a race. We are descending into the largest science experiment ever mounted. Underground experiments now have reached sizes that are quite unimaginable. But if they don't produce anything, then probably the idea of particle dark matter has been wrong. Ο φυσικός Stephen Hawking φέρνει το όραμά του για το σύμπαν στη μικρή οθόνη. Προσπαθεί να απαντήσει σε ερωτήσεις όπως πώς ξεκίνησε το σύμπαν; Υπάρχει ζωή σε άλλους πλανήτες; Το ταξίδι στο χρόνο είναι εφικτό; Και πάρα πολλά άλλα. Η φωνή του ακούγεται μέσα από το μηχάνημα που έχει στην αναπηρική του καρέκλα, ενώ στη θέση του παίζει ο ηθοποιός Benedict Cumberbatch. Όλα αυτά και πολλά άλλα μπορείτε να τα βρείτε στο Discovery Channel. I didn't do my scientific work in the hope of winning prizes and medals. I did it because I wanted to understand the universe. To be regarded as someone who literally changed the way this world is seen is a huge thing, unbelievable even. But not for Stephen Hawking, the man who defied all odds and showed that even the impossible can be achieved if you're willing to put your heart in it. The English theoretical physicist is truly one of his kind in the world. At a time when science was pretty much at a standstill, Hawking's contributions to the field have the ability to leave everyone stunned, even to this day. He is one of the only few scientists to receive so much success on a commercial level that he's practically become a popular culture icon. His theories about the universe have earned him several weeks on bestseller lists for his books and have established him as one of the greatest minds of all time.
standing here on the roof of the Royal Institution and I'm using something that we take for granted in the modern technological world. A compass using GPS built into my smartphone and I can use it to find the direction to Magnetic North which is that way, which means that South is that way, which means Spain is over a thousand kilometres in that direction. I'm interested because what we think we're very clever at doing, nature has figured out before us. Lots of migrating birds and marine animals have built-in compasses in their brains and their eyes at the ends of their beaks so they can detect the direction they should travel. One bird in particular, however, does something much more clever. The European robin. On YouTube θα βρούμε πολλά βίντεο του Αμερικάνου φυσικού Brian Green, ο οποίος μιλάει για 11 χωρικές διαστάσεις παράλληλα σύμπαντα, για την κφαντική τηλεμεταφορά, για τη θεωρία χορδών και πάρα πολλά άλλα. Επίσης, έχει πάρα πολλές συνεντεύξεις και debate με άλλους αξιόλογους φυσικούς στα πλαίσια της κατανόησης δύσκολων ενιών της φυσικής. Fifty years ago, this house was the scene of one of the greatest mysteries of modern science. A mystery so profound that today, thousands of scientists on the cutting edge of physics are still trying to solve it. Albert Einstein spent his last two decades in this modest home in Princeton, New Jersey. And in his second floor study, Einstein relentlessly sought a single theory so powerful, it would describe all the workings of the universe. Elisa Mayde, μαζί με ένα μικρό group of επιστημόνων, ανακάλυψε την πυρηνική σχάση του ουρανίου, όταν σε αυτό πρόσθεσαν ένα επιπλέον νετρόνιο. Η έρευνά της στην πυρηνική σχάση βοήθησε τόσο στη δημιουργία αντιδράσεων που παράγουν ηλεκτρισμό, όσο δυστυχώ και στα πυρηνικά όπλα, όπως και στο γνωστό σχέδιο Μαχάταν στο Δεύτερο Παγκόσμιο Πόλεμο. Το βίντεο μπορεί να το βρείτε διαθέσιμο στο Amazon Prime. Lisa Meitner was an Austrian physicist who worked on radioactivity and nuclear physics. She was part of the team that discovered nuclear fission, an achievement for which her colleague Otto Hahn was awarded the Nobel Prize. She's often mentioned as one of the most notable examples of women's scientific achievement being overlooked by the Nobel Committee. In 1983, the BBC Richard Feynman όπως γιατί τα λάστιχα είναι ελαστικά, γιατί οι μαγνήτες μαγνητίζουν, γιατί οι μπάλες του τέννις δεν μπορούν να χοροπηδάνε για πάντα, τι πραγματικά βλέπουμε σε ένα καθρέφτη και πάρα πολλά άλλα. If you get hold of two magnets and you push them, you can feel this pushing between them. Turn it around the other way and, it, and they slam together. Now, what is it, the feeling between those two magnets? What do you mean, what's the feeling between well, the two th magnets? There's something when you're there, isn't there? I mean, that, the sensation is that there's something there when you push these two magnets together. Listen to my question. What is the meaning when you say that there's, that there's a feeling? Of course you feel it. Now, what do you want to know? What I want to know is what's going on the between these two, bits, these two bits of metal. The magnets repel each other. And, well, then, what does, that, but what does that mean? Or why are they doing that? Or how are they doing it? Uh, you're asking. I, I, I must say, I think that's a perfectly reasonable question. Of course, it's ask. a reason. It's an excellent question. Okay. Uh, the, but the problem that you're asking, you see, when you ask why something happens, how does a person answer why something happens? Πώς νιώθει το σύμπαν να έγινε από το απόλυτο τίποτα; Είναι μια ερώτηση που παρόλο που έχει κάποιες ερωτικές και μαθηματικές απαντήσεις καλανίζει τον επιστημονικό κόσμο ακόμα και σήμερα. Παρόλα αυτά, ο Τζιμ Αλ Χαλίλ εξερευνά την έννοια του τίποτα με επιστημονικούς όρους και μας την παρουσιάζει. 
Είναι ένα όμορφο εγκυκλοπαιδικό βίντεο του Αμερικάνου Θεωρητικού Φυσικού του City College of New York Μίχιο Κάκου. Είναι στην ουσία μια ολιστική προσέγγιση της φυσικής, μια σύντομη ιστορία εφαρμογών και προβλέψεων για το τι μας περιμένει στο εγγύης μέλλον. When the ancients looked at the sky, the sky was full of mystery and wonder. And in the year 1066, the most important date on the British calendar, there was a comet, a comet which sailed over the battlefield of Hastings. It frightened the troops of King Harold, and a young man from Normandy swept into England and defeated King Harold at the Battle of Hastings, creating the modern British monarchy. But the question is, where did the comet come from? What was this comet that mysteriously paved the way for the coming of the British monarchy?